Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. I am back from vacation. I cannot wait to catch up with you guys. This is the first time I'm sitting down and filming. I came back not yesterday but the night before. Ignore that mess because I will be unboxing all of that after I film this video um, but you will have already seen that unboxing haul situation yesterday because that is going up before this video. Anyways, I'm super excited to get back into it. It's been three weeks since I sat in front of this camera, so bear with me. I was in Spain for the past three weeks, which was amazing. This was a trip that I had been dreaming about for years, and I am thrilled that it finally happened, and I can't wait to go back <laughs> already. But anyways, while I was in Spain, of course, I had to check out some of the makeup stores and see what they had to offer that was different from the makeup stores here in the US. I went into Sephora, and Spain has a store called Primore and I did some damage there. I met one of my subscribers who is now a friend, Lucia, and she took me um, to Sephora, she took me to Primore, and I wanted to try a Spanish makeup brand because I hadn't ever heard of a Spanish makeup brand, right? And so I was pointed in the direction of the products I'm about to show you and in today's video we are going to be trying them out and yeah, we're going to catch up a little bit, etc. So let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> let's start with a little haul because it's been over two weeks since I bought all of this and I barely remember what it was. I think the brand's name is Crash, Crash, Crash Cosmetics and um, I have this kit right here. Primor is different to Sephora in the sense that they look very very similar and they're usually very close to one another at least um, in all of the places that I went they were pretty <laughs> close to one another but Sephora is like you know high-end and luxury just like here in the US. Primor carries everything I saw like L'Oreal inside of Primor they have like um, more affordable brands as well. Crush, I believe, is still a high-end brand, but it is sold inside Primor. So this kit right here has a highlighter and a lipstick. It is cruelty-free and vegan, and it is made in the PRC. This is the Clow Candy. Let me unbox this highlighter. Okay, this is what the highlighter looks like. That's actually really, really pretty. It looks darker in the pan than the way it swatches, and it swatches very, very creamy. So I'm excited to try that. And then the lipstick I got in that kit is called Feminine Boy. Here's what the packaging looks like. And this is a liquid lipstick. Even though it looks very creamy and kind of glossy, so we'll see what the texture is like, but that is the color right there. It looks like they gave me some L'Oreal men's face wash samples, so I'll have to give these to Gabriel. Back to the Crush products, I also got this Pinchacito lip liner right here. This is what the packaging looks like, and let me swatch it right here. Moving on, I also got this right over here, and this is a liquid eyeshadow. It looks like a multi-chrome type of liquid eyeshadow, so of course I wanted to try it. Let's give it a little swatch right here. It's wild that it looks that red on camera, because in real life, like, it looks super, super green. Anyways, it is absolutely stunning, of course. And last but not least, of course, I had to buy an eyeshadow palette. And this is the one that I went with. This is, I guess, a collaboration with Jadette. Because it says Jadette um, X Crush eyeshadow palette. It is a six-pan palette. And this is what the inside looks like right here. Absolutely stunning, nice, everyday rose colors. And the pigmentation looked really beautiful. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you. Very, very creamy, especially the shimmers. The mattes could be more pigmented, but this is just swatching. They probably do build up nicely on the crease. We'll see once we try them. Let me show you the swatches up close. Take a look right here. These are the swatches. And the price of everything I bought was 62 euros with 80 cents. 
I went ahead and pulled the hair out of my face and let's get started trying all of these products. I already have primer, foundation, and concealer on. Um, everything that I use will be linked down below. I'll do my best to find the Crash products, but since I got them at Primor, I'm not sure that I'll be able to link them or that the links will work. Whatever, I'll just check the description box and you'll see everything I found linked. I think I'm going to do my eyes first. I don't have a primer on, but I did put some concealer on my eyelids. And we're going to be using this palette, of course, starting with the shade Antonia. And this is my refer number 15. If you've been watching the videos I've been posting for the past three weeks, definitely please let me know down in the comment section if you've enjoyed the content because that was all like pre-recorded content. I worked really hard before I went on vacation to have all of that content ready for you. And honestly, I hope you enjoyed it, but if you didn't, let me know. And if you did, also let me know. As you can see, the shade Antonia is a beautiful transition color and it is building very nicely. Okay, let me fix my eyebrow, it's bothering me. Let me move on to Eduarda right here. And I'm going to build it on the outer corner and into the crease. As I was saying earlier, it's been a dream of mine for so many years to travel to Spain and now that I finally did it, I can tell you that it was totally worth it. I absolutely loved it. The food is so good. There's so many beautiful places. I have to say my favorite places I went to were in Barcelona, La Sagrada Familia, which is a church that's been under construction for like I think over a hundred years now and I think they're planning to finish it by 2026. It is unbelievably beautiful inside. If you're ever in Spain, if you're ever in Barcelona, 100% I recommend that you visit there. And then in Madrid, I really loved the Royal Palace. It's a beautiful place. The building is stunning and I feel very lucky that I got to go there. Okay, oh, I'm using Alba right now. This is a refer number two, and I'm putting it on the inner third of my eyelid. By the way, all of these shades are performing beautifully, but I do feel like the shimmers are better than the mattes. I really want to try the Trio Chrome situation I bought, so I'm going to put it right in the center of my eyelid. And I think what I'll have to do is I'll have to go into a different palette for a little bit of a darker matte shade so the look can be a little bit more cohesive. I feel like when I tap it with my finger, the shininess goes away. But then if I don't, I don't know how to blend it. Let me do my best not to touch it. Back with my refer number one. Nothing added. I'm just going to fix this top edge right here, see if it could be a little bit less harsh. And then just because I have it right next to me and I don't feel like getting up, I'm going to use this Fenty palette, the one with all of the bronzers. And with my refer number one, I'm going into the darkest shade back here. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner of the eye because I feel like we need a dark matte color to make this more cohesive with that triochrome or multi-chrome shade that I put on my eyelid. And I am going over everything with my refer number 15. Nothing added, just so that it looks nice and blended. This is what it looks like right here. Let me try and do the same thing on this eye. Just applied that trio chrome and I am letting it dry. Okay, I'm feeling like they look close enough to one another, but I do want to add an extra step. I want to go in with the color Amparo right here. And I want to put it in between the multi-chrome and the champagne shimmer right here. Just because I was feeling like there was a little bit of a harsh line in between the two right there. And I think this will fix it. So right in between the two with the shade on paddle. Okay, and this is the top of my eye look right here. Back with this Fenty eyeshadow just because if I used it on top, I have to use it underneath. I'm going to do the outer third of my under eye and this is a refer number 26 brush. And then with a different number 26, I'm going to get the color Eduarda and do the rest of the under eye with it. Back with Alba right here, I'm just going to do a little bit more on the inner corner. 
I'm going to use the Walk of No Shame eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury in the waterline. So this right here is the eye look before mascara or lashes. Let me be right back with the final look and then we'll continue with the rest of the products. I'm back, I went ahead and applied some mascara and some velour lashes. I do have a 20% off code with velour if you guys are interested. These are the lashes in the style Serendipity, which I'm really liking. And I believe the code is PATTY20. I will leave it down in the description box, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not lying. <laughs> I didn't get any bronzer or blush from Crush, so I'm going to be using other things. This is my Rare Beauty bronzer, and I'm just going to put it around the perimeters of my face. I thought it was really cool that I made some new friends in Spain. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I met Lucia. She just said, hey, like, you're in my city, I want to, like meet you, and I was like, sure. And I told her that I was going to be walking around El Retiro, which is a pretty big park in Madrid, and she met me and my husband there, and she gave us a huge tour of the park, <laughs> um, and showed us all of the different things that we probably would not have noticed on our own, um, and then we went to lunch and whatnot. Oh, and we went makeup shopping, so that was really fun. And then in Barcelona, I met Lore, and I have been talking on Instagram for a very, very long time, whenever there's like a new makeup release and whatnot. And when I got to Barcelona, she was like, hey, you're in my city, let's like grab some drinks. So I met her and her boyfriend, and my husband and her boyfriend got along so well, it's scary. <laughs> Um, so that was really, really fun, and they offered to take us outside of the city to show us a different nearby place, and so we went to Silches, I believe it's called, which is like a beach town, and that was a lot of fun. I had such a fantastic trip, I have zero complaints. And now I'm back and I can't wait to get back into the swing of things. If there's any videos you would like to see from me specifically, let me know down in the comments section. Once I open that mess that I have back there, I'm sure there are going to be things that I'm going to be making some videos with. Alright, so the Rare Beauty bronzer has been blended. I'm gonna go with Rare Beauty for blush as well. This is the shade Hope. I'm just going to do a tiny bit right here, blend it with my brush. I figured this color would match the eyeshadow and it does beautifully. Blush and bronzer completed. Let's go back to some Crash Cosmetics and use this highlighter, Wayne Goss Number no. 4 brush, and I'm just going to dig in there. Okay, it is a really, really pretty highlighter. Honestly, I needed a new highlighter like a hole in the head, but here we are and I like it Back with my blush brush. I'm just going to blend the edges and let's go for the no money No lips lip liner Here is what that looks like. I'm definitely really proud of myself for not over packing the makeup I took with me. I feel like I pretty much used every single thing that I took and there was nothing extra. And I usually tend to take with me a bunch of things that I don't end up using. So that was nice. Okay, I'm using the Crash lipstick now. Ooh, okay, I don't know about that color because I like nude lipsticks better. But this is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on till the end of this video. Might take it off for the next one, but this right here is the final look. A really beautiful makeup line from Spain and I'm super glad that I tried it. But mainly what I wanted to do in today's video was to catch up with you, tell you that I'm back. Let me know what videos you want to see from me next down in the comment section below. Let me know if you liked this look. I'm definitely digging it. Everything that I can link, I will link down below for you guys. And that is all I have for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching today's video and I hope to see you back in the next one. <laughs> Bye.